Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect and pair a Amazon Fire Stick that is not connecting. So what you wanna do is go to your Fire Stick or your TV and unplug that from the wallet. And leave that unplugged for about 60 seconds. Then go to your remote and you wanna press the back button and the button with the three lines on it and the left owl button all down at the same time. So let's do that. And then count out loud to 15, one, two, three, and so on until you get to 15 then your remote should be reset. Flip it around and remove the batteries. Then go on over to your TV and plug that back in with the Fire Stick. Go back over to your remote, place in your batteries. Then when you get to the home screen here, you can try holding down the home button on your remote. This will place it into the Bluetooth pairing mode and a little light should blink in this top corner, indicating it's trying to connect to a new device. Then make sure there's a clear signal between the remote and your fire stick so it can actually be detected. Now, if this doesn't work, usually after about three to four minutes on my TV, a screen will pop up that says no remote detected. All you have to do is usually press the center dial button or the home button and it'll reconnect. Now, if it's still not reconnecting, what you want to do is go on over to your phone and connect to the Wi-Fi and go on over to the Google Play Store. So you got my phone open right now, go to the Google Play Store, and type in Amazon Fire Stick under here, and then open up this application. Then you can control your Amazon Fire Stick with your remote. And go on over to Settings now, using your, uh, your phone remote, and then go to Controllers and Bluetooth, then go to Alexa Voice Remote, and go to Add New Remote. Then place your Fire Stick remote into the Bluetooth pairing mode just by holding down this home button. If you do this, it will show up on the screen now under searching. Uh, go to it on your phone and just select the dial button on it. And then you should have your remote connected. So it's blinking on my remote now. You can kind of see it. And it should show up under the screen. When it does, just simply select it with your phone. And then you should be good to go and everything should be paired up again and connected. So my remote's already connected. You could see it was Alexa voice remote one and two. Everything's working. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.